Now, Christmas is the time for giving, giving of yourself, more, more so giving than receiving. And uh, we are going to be speaking with the president of Reaching Inc., uh, and that's Raymond O'Keel. And we're going to be speaking about a uh, hamper drive that is coming up very soon. Good morning, Raymond. Hi, good morning to you and um, listening audience and viewing family. Blessings and grace. To you as well, my friend. Uh, so before we get into the event coming up, let's speak about Reaching Inc. itself. What exactly is it? Reaching is, is an NGO and I have been established some years ago with the focus on families, youth at risk, at vulnerable people on a whole, and with a number of different um, the outputs in terms of counseling, um, social in, engagement, education, developing skill sets, um, advocacy for the vulnerable, especially. And there's an aspect of, of ritual youth school ministry and different things like that. But there's this critical aspect whereby we give um, support to families who would have been affected by crime, specifically murder. So right. those who have lost a loved one via murder, we have a support group that reaches out to that um, category of, of folks in society. Yes, I remember we spoke and about that some for, time ago. Yes, and REIT stands for Restoring, Encouraging, Advocating Care for Humanity. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really love that acronym there. And, um, you know, what? give us an example of some of the projects that you would have done uh, since the formation of your organization? Well, we, we will have participated in a number of, of consultation um, with the government in terms of even the, the gender policy. And uh, we would have also participated in advocacy against violence, all type of violence. We would have had um, something we call the pop-up where we encourage love amongst humanity and in, encouraging men and women to understand that they're not a threat, they're not competing against each other, but they are here to coexist. Um, a number of youth initiatives in different communities, as we call um, high need, uh, people say risk, but I say high need, more output and outreaches. We have been doing um, what we call TNT Let's Love Again. It's a, it's a luncheon that we normally keep every year for um, the same category of families who've been affected. Right. It's something free and open to them. A number of initiatives in, in, in school and partnership with different organizations of like-mindedness. We have done um, our, our street awareness parade in terms of the different ills in society and encouraging society to not be a part of the problem, but be a part of the solution. Of course. Of course. And that is uh, some wonderful work that you have done. As you continue the great work, uh, there is a hamper drive coming up. So uh, tell us about it. Yes, well, you know, what's going on right now is I see C19 with a, with, with, with a lower KC because we're hoping that this too shall pass. It right. has really been um, significantly impacting on people. Um, normally, what we'll have done again in this month is what we call um, Let's Love Again TNT. And it would have been, we, we were planning to do a brunch for COVID. COVID came and we cannot cater for 300 plus um, in terms of, of gathering. Right. So what we recognize is that the support group that we have with families who have been affected by crime, we still wanted to reach out to them because COVID would have affected some of them before that because of the murder, because of the, the, the crime uh, perpetrated against these families. They might have lost the breadwinner. And so things are really tight for some of them. So we decided to have, uh, do a hamper drive and provide the family. We have at least 55 families and provide these families with a sumptuous hamper uh, to bring some joy, some relief, some comfort to them. And um, we would also have an uh, online program where we'll have someone come in and really encourage them to continue to, ma to, to navigate through this whole grieving process and how to still dream, how to continue to, to live their life in spite of the many challenges that they face presently. Definitely. And uh, how can the general public get involved and to help make this, this uh, venture successful? Well, you can check us on our Facebook page. is Reach, R-E-A-C-H-I-N-C. Reach, N-I-N-C. Or you can check us on Instagram at Reach In. Uh, also, give us a call at 778-1811. At 778-1811. Or you can also call 294-0891. 294 
0891. You can also WhatsApp us. Wonderful, wonderful. And what are what are some of the things that you're looking for with the hamper drive? What are some of the items that individuals can bring in? Well, we're looking for uh, food stuff, uh, food items, and also personal items because we cater for both male and uh, female. Right. Um, so we want to encourage people to think about what you will really give in terms of uh, making groceries. And then from each Christmas, so you can add some goodies there, you know, some, some biscuits, some sweets, some, some non-perishable items. That is what we're really looking for to make sure that these families have enough to rally throughout um, the season. Yeah. What about toys for boys and girls? Yeah, uh, we don't have specific ages, but again, um, if, if, if you can also give or donate, as you say, a device for online purposes, we really appreciate that because we have uh, we have been doing our, our drive towards that. But in some homes, you have like four of them who really need I'm not saying that they want and it's really uh, just because people are giving their acts, but we're talking about really needy children. So yeah. that could be a part of the... Um, the gift given to, yes. All right, and just before we go, uh, could you repeat those four numbers you gave out earlier? 778-1811 or 2940891. And we can also reach you on Facebook and Instagram as well, correct? Yes, uh, yes, just check, just, just check Instagram, is reach, would reach N, and it will pop up, and also on Facebook, reach N Incorporated. Not, not difficult to find at all. Of course, of course. Well, we do wish you the very best, and I hope it's really successful because, again, it's a great cause and supporting those who are in most need. I want to thank you so much, Raymond O'Keel, for joining us this morning. I want to thank you all for having us, and I pray God continue his blessing and have a wonderful Christmas in Jesus' name. <laughs> to you as well. To you as well. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> thank you, brother.